I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, it's November 17th, I'm Franco. And I'm Steven. The wind is returning later this week, the bulletin is on. B. H. S. T. B. Activities of the week. Tuesday, November 17th, girls bowling with North Mason home, 2.45 p.m. And Thursday, November 18th, girls bowling with Peninsula home, 2.45 p.m. Saturday, November 21st, NJROTC orienteering competition, Magnuson Park. And staff and students, do you dare not to swear? It doesn't look good, and that's from Heidi Johnson and BHS Volleyball. And here's another location uh, everyone sees every day but has never been inside. Let's take a look. Hi, I'm Caroline, this is Megan, and this is part two of the Hidden Places of VHS. Um, follow us, we're going to the elevator. to the roof, I think? This is actually the clock tower. Okay, the clock tower. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> signed up to see Pacific Lutheran University but had missed first lunch uh, and missed them, oh, if you had first lunch and missed them, please see Miss Irish for the information left for you by the college rep. Gobble gobble, hear that? That's turkey for enjoy Thanksgiving break. You can say that and much more, plus get a nice sweet treat for your friend with the gobble gram. The BHS student athletics trainers will be selling gobble grams during lunches starting on Wednesday and going until next Tuesday for just 50 cents. You send a gobblegram with a personalized note and a little something sweet to a friend. Recipients of gobblegrams will be notified during connections on Wednesday, the 25th, and can be picked up after school that day. What a great way to start a five-day weekend. Get yours today. And Little Shop of Horrors will have a read-through on November 19th from 2.30 to 4.30 in the theater. Everyone, everyone, everyone cast in a part must be there. Questions? Email Miss Linda or go to the MySpace page. Imagine you at WSU is coming to our campus Tuesday, November 24th. Washington State University will be hosting a family night from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. Join us here for our complimentary dinner and enjoy conversations with WSU faculty, staff, and students. A panel will also be set up in the Performing Arts Center to get those burning questions answered. Hope to see you there. FCCLA is meeting this Thursday, November 19th, right after school in room 111. We are picking up star events, projects, categories, categories and deciding our teams for competition. March 11 is our first competition event and you don't want to miss this. So pop in after school on Thursday so you can get on a team and get in on all the fun. See you there, Miss Abby. More great weekly college questions. How many of last year's freshmen returned to their sophomore, for their sophomore year? And what is the biggest crime problem on campus? Applications for DECA are now available in the Career Center. The application deadline is February 12th. And attention all seniors, this year's senior prom will be at, drumroll please, Sunday, it will be at Sunday, February 29th at the Mountain View Middle School Gym. Wait, what, wait, huh? What? Wait, 
Oh, wait, ha, ah, just kidding, ha, ah, ha, ha. It really is going to be Saturday, May 1st at Gold Mountain. I know you're relieved, right? It's going to be the bomb diggity com slash awesome home skillet. And that actually is on the script. Seattle Pacific University has a list of scholarships to be awarded. The list is now available in the Career Center. A few are due as early as January, so hurry on in. Rem Reminder, St. Martin University will be here on Thursday for both lunches. If you'd like to see the admissions representative, sign up today in the Counseling Center. Are you a budding entre uh, entrepreneur? Do you have dreams of owning your own business? If yes to either of these questions, see. Uh, visit www.nfib.com slash YEA to apply for the 2010 Young Entrepreneur Award. The Career Center currently has scholarship information for both KFC and Burger King, and not to be outdone, we just received information on Ronald McDonald House Charities Scholarship. There are four different scholarships for which to apply. Come in and pick one up. Due date is February 16th, 2010. And calling all future engineers, UW, UW ba Bothell is hosting an engineering mentor night tonight, 6 o'clock to 8 p.m. at the North Creek Event Center on campus. Visit them online at www.uw uwb.edu for more information. Oh fudge, without a doubt the 2009-2010 Dare Not to Swear fudge flavor is Combo Moose, created by sophomore Christopher Stevens. Congratulations Christopher. Sophomores, you rock. This is the third Dare Not to Swear competition that you have won. Christopher's fudge will be featured at the candy shop in Port Orchard. And Vanderbilt University in Tennessee has announced that they will meet 100% of demonstrated financial need for all admitted students and the amount of aid that previously would be have been met with loans is now to be met with uh, gift aid or through employment opportunities. More information are available in the Career Center. There will be an International Studies Club meeting tomorrow night after school in room 319 for all current members traveling to Switzerland, Italy, and France, and for any new members who would like to travel to China over spring break in 2011. Come to this short meeting and learn more about the trip and how to earn money to help pay your way. See you in room 319 right after school on Wednesday. And birthdays, Sid, uh, Sydney Counts. Nicholas Crawford. Uh, Elia Garcia. Christopher Williamson. And Vor Zomerfield. And Daily Thought, if you fail to make as much progress as you had planned, don't get discouraged. Yeah, that's right. Remind yourself of why you're making the effort and recommit to getting it done. Daily Joke, what did the pencil say to the paper? I don't know, what did they say? I dot my eyes on you. <laughs> this day in history, uh, in 1800, Congress held its first session in Washington in the partially completed Capitol building. Yes, and that was your bulletin. bulletin. Have a See nice you next day. time. I gotta be next to you Drive it.